Welcome guys, I'm back with another another box opening, another box review, and I'm reviewing the opening of a, a box of Ultimate World League. This is a 1992 card set, and this is from the World League or World League of American Football, WLAF. And these cards are, are very unusual to come by because this was kind of like the minor, the NFL's first version of the minor leagues. And it's a card set that does have a couple of professional players. It has Lawrence Taylor and it has Jim Kelly showing up in a, a couple of cards within the set. So it's not, it's not completely devoid of NFL players but because there are two, but that's about it. However, there are a couple of players that did make it into the pros, like Jason Garrett does have a card in the set. I didn't get it in these packs, but there are a couple of pro players who did show up here. So basically the idea of the World League was it was an opportunity to capitalize on the popularity that the NFL had worldwide. And so the... The, the league was founded in all sorts of cities, like this is Barcelona, the Barcelona Dragons, and they were able to take NFL players, uh, maybe CFL players if, if that, was, uh, that was possible, players from other leagues or from other countries, and pull them together into a whole separate league to play just within Europe. And there were a, a number of American teams, including Birmingham, Sacramento. Uh, New Jersey had one, so it was it was a very interesting league that they put together, and there were a couple of of stars. So like I said, Jason Garrett has a card in here. David Archer was was a, a very good quarterback there, and Tony Rice is uh, another. Uh, those are the three cards of value in this this particular set, but it's not the kind of thing that you you go in trying to find cards that you relate to because this is this is a totally different experience across the board, in every way. And Ultimate is a name of a company. Upper Deck later on used Ultimate in more recent years, but that's totally totally separate from from this. So this was Ultimate Trading Card Company, and. This is a set that is is meant to showcase the first year of the WLAF. Pro Set had done cards earlier that that looked at the league coming up, but these these cards are basically kind of the first official cards for the WLAF. And as most of you have no idea what I'm talking about, that means that uh, that, that's a perfect example of the fact that the the World League of American Football ended after a couple of uh, just a couple of years, and then it got rebranded as the World League, and it continued on. And I'm not sure what they've got going on right now, but I know that there's. I think it ended up being coming more of a British league, but they started off with I think it was four teams in the U.S. And so that means that here's the London Mo Monarchs. We've got the Montreal Machine. We have the New York Knights, you have the Orlando Thunder, and the Sacramento Surge. You know, this is basically the way the card is designed. It has a little curl down here of the, of, on the card, and the card backs look like this. And they're they're very very much they're they're very much a 1992 set. I mean, this is just this looks like a Fleer or a scorecard. It really does. So the the set has. It, it's primarily the the players obviously it has uh, TV schedules interestingly in this in the set but they have team cards for every single team and it has a, a a team not basically a team checklist that lists out you know the positions and the numbers of all the players and uh, I love the card backs here these these look really good so the, they have that throughout and then you also have some league leaders. And every single box has, this is basically a box topper. It is a hologram of, of one of the teams. It has kind of like a globe, I'll try to get it right, globe here with some, um, the team coming off at an angle to, to right here. And then um, the ultimate and world league symbols. It's not a great hologram. It's a neat little thing they have in the box, even though it's one per box. And so you have to get, I think it was eight teams in the league at the time. And so you'd have to get eight boxes to get the whole set. They're, they're really kind of worthless. And then every single pack had a, a contest in it. And it's, a, it's an open leaf, it's just a contest. And these scratch offs are for letters. And the idea is if you can collect all um, W-O-R-L-D, if you collect all five of those and spell world, you can win a million dollars. I've opened a couple of boxes. You can see that I've opened two here, and I've gotten W and L, and it appears that all of the, the, 
um, pieces in one box are one letter. And just in case you're trying to spell out the word, you're obviously not going to get the whole thing. But the box is a really, really interesting thing. This is, this is what really makes this all really kind of cool because the box starts off as a big long, um, big long box like this. And then you actually have to open up this front flap here in order to open it up. And then you get inside and they have, obviously they have packs and they have a big poster for, for ultimate cards. Every box has one of these. And then inside, you, you can fold it down. I guess this is the way it's supposed to look for display purposes. But inside they have the, this is the Oakland Coliseum. That's what the theme of this is. And inside they have the, the whole stadium for the, the Coliseum. And then you pull these out, these inserts out, and then you can store your 200 cards. And these, I think that, I think it's designed so that you keep one of these or both of these in the box. So you have 200 here or something like that. But the box is a very strange box. It's really cool in that way. But just again, so that you know, if you open it up, if you do get one of these boxes, understand you open it here on the front, you open this flap and it comes open like that. So that is, is a distinct point. As far as collecting the set, you don't get that many cards. Technically you get 108. I actually got 111 here, so I'm not sure why I got an extra three cards, but I didn't get anywhere near a even half a set because I got 18, well I got 14 doubles and four uh, triples. So that means that I got 22 extra cards, which cut into my ability to get even half the set. But like I said, I've opened multiple boxes, so hopefully this finishes up the set that I have. I haven't, I haven't checked. Uh, the fact that I got two of th the three valuable cards out of this box, that is good. Uh, that, that makes it a lot, a lot more fun to, um, to collect when, you know, it, it's always tough when you open up an entire box and you don't get anything of any value, especially for something as unusual as these. The holograms are fun to get. Again, they're not great holograms, but they are fun to, to end up with. It's a really tough set to complete because it's only one per box. And the boxes aren't that expensive, but they're only 12 packs per box. So like I said, there are 108 cards that you get out of the box. There are no inserts, there are no parallels, nothing like that. The only insert is the box topper. So it's about as straightforward as you get. You basically gotta get about three boxes in order to get a set. That's kind of the way that it works. So this is more one of those situations where it's fun to open the packs, but you've really got to to want to enjoy opening the packs because none of this stuff is recognizable. For me, I remember when the league came out, so Barcelona Dragons, Birmingham Fire, the, the Frankfurt Galaxy, the, the names make sense. I don't recognize hardly any of the names of the players though. That's, that's always a bit, a bit difficult when you're going through these. And so I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how much fun it would be on an individual basis. If you're into collecting cards, this is a blast. If you're looking for some sort of recognition, especially if you were, you were collecting in the, in the late 80s and early 90s and you remember all of the players in, in the main league, then this is going to be a bit of a, diff, a difficulty for you because of the fact that nothing is, is the same. But it really is an interesting experience to go through. And the boxes are very inexpensive. Nobody's looking for these things. And, you know, again, that you don't get very many cards out of it and the set's not worth anything, but it is fun otherwise. So to me, I enjoy this. This is a fun thing for me to do. I've opened three of these boxes and I'm not gonna open another one. Even if I don't get all the cards in the set, I'm, I'm good with these boxes that I've opened. But every time it was a quick, a quick run, just 12 packs. I mean, these, this is literally all the, the wrappers from the box that I ended up with. So it's, it's not, it's not a, a, a fun afternoon, but it is neat to do. It's, it's a nice change up. So that's kind of the way that I would put this. And if you're into Lawrence Taylor or Jim Kelly, like I said, they do have a lot of players of both of them. So so that's, um, I haven't taken the time to read the how to collect that I had to do that at some point, um, so that I can learn what I've been doing wrong for 30 years. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that, that was uh, basically it. So thank you very much for watching.